Now, Thanksgiving for most families means turkey and, of course, all the trimmings. But whether you're a gourmet chef or a turkey novice, there are some important things you need to keep in mind. So, we went straight to the experts. Joining us live on the phone is Sue Smith. She's from the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. And, Sue, thanks for being with us. Oh, you're quite welcome, Camille. It's always a pleasure to talk to you know, somebody in the South. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we we put the questions out there, and our viewers wrote in. They want to know this: If you haven't done so already, how long should you let your turkey thaw out? It takes 30 minutes a pound. A 12-pound turkey will take six hours in a sink of cold water. That's in cold water. The refrigerator method is one day for every four pounds, which you really don't have time to do right now. But it's 30 30 minutes a pound in cold water. Okay, and how long should you leave the turkey in the oven, and how do you know when it's done? Well, um, the time in the oven depends on the weight of the turkey. For instance, anything that weighs 10 to 18 pounds takes about three to three and a half hours. That's an unstuffed turkey in a 325 oven, and that's totally uncovered, except the last third of the cooking time, you put a little piece of foil just on the breast. And the best way to know when a turkey is done is to use an accurate meat thermometer and make sure the breast meat is 170 degrees and the thigh meat is 180 degrees. Then it's a perfectly done turkey. Okay, and then how do you achieve that golden brown color of the turkey? Well, you know, if you go to our website um, at butterball.com, you can search all these, you know, wonderful answers, but to get it really golden brown, make sure you leave it uncovered. The heat only can get to the turkey if it's in there without a cover on and without any foil on to start with. So brown, we recommend getting the turkey brown first and then just tenting a little piece of foil, but only on the breast. But golden brown has to do with, you know, making sure that he can get directly to the meat. All right, Sue, a couple more questions. So down here in Louisiana, you know, we fry our turkeys a lot of times. Do you have any yes, tips for that? Yes, that's wonderful. Yes. Um, I know there's the open propane type of deep fryer, but there's also an electric countertop deep fryer that we actually put our name on, the Butterball deep fryer. And um, if you use the open flame, this is our biggest um, safety uh, tip that we recommend and talk about all the time. Right before you're ready to lower the turkey into that big vat of very hot oil and make sure you use a meat thermometer or an oil thermometer and use the right temperature. Usually it's about 350 or 375. Um, turn that flame off, then lower the turkey in, and if there was any spillover or splashing or something tipped over, there would be no open flame to ignite anything. Then once it's safely in the hot oil and it's starting to bubble up, just turn that heat right back on and relight that propane uh, flame to keep it cooking. Okay, Sue, so just a few minutes. The very last question our viewers want to know is how do you keep that bird juicy? You know, we all want that juicy bird. We don't want to dry right. it out. Again, you want to use a meat thermometer and not overcook it. Make sure the turkey is totally defrosted before you cook it. If you don't have time to totally defrost it, start cooking it, but it may start to dry out a little bit because it's such an extended cooking time. And if you are cooking still slightly frozen turkey, you need to use a meat thermometer and cook it until that thigh is 180 and the breast is 170. But you can check us out at Butterball.com. We're here at 1-800-BUTTERBALL all day tomorrow, all day Friday. And we're here tonight until we're central time until 9 p.m. How many so calls call do you all get? Oh, thousands. Thousands, thousands I would imagine. Calls a day. <laughs> Final yeah. question. Can you come and to my house and just cook my turkey for me? <laughs> absolutely. I love New Orleans. <laughs> well, come on down here, Sue. Thanks so much. All right, everybody, oh, if you still have welcome. questions, all right, thank you. You can call the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. That number again, 1 800 Butterball. And coming up in just